okay now we will we'll learn about the basic concept that is atomic mass what is atomic mass who can say what is the mass of an atom atomic mass simply that is mass of carbon is 12 mass of nitrogen is 14 this is atomic mass but actually what is the atomic mass how scientists discover the concept of atomic mass how they calculate okay this is calculation purpose At atomic mass is the sum of proton and neutron it is for calculation purpose but how to define atomic mass listen carefully listen carefully this is carbon atom okay consider 12 parts of the carbon if this is one carbon atom it is divided into 12 parts okay now what is atomic mass atomic mass it is the it is the mass of an atom as compared to mass of one twelfth one twelfth of carbon twelve isotope. Atomic mass is the mass of mass of or relative mass R E L A T I V E relative because here we compare this is the main formula of atomic mass it is the relative average mass of relative mass of an atom as compared to mass of C12 of C12 isotope 112 of 112 of C12 isotope now consider what is atomic mass this is one carbon and I have divided into 12 parts okay now consider this one part consider this one single part consider this single part for this single part we can say it is one twelfth of carbon yes or no this this is carbon atom mass is 12 we divide into 12 parts okay now consider one part if you take one part then you can say it is one twelfth of carbon clear any doubt if you take only one part then you can say it is one twelfth of carbon now what is definition it is the relative mass of an atom as compared to one twelfth of carbon isotope means if i say mass of hydrogen equal to one that means one means one represents this one one if i say mass of helium equal to four that means it represents four times four times means one this part into four if i say iron mass of iron is 56 that means it represents mass of iron is 56 that means it represents 56 into this part okay so this is the atomic mass and relative atomic mass sometimes we say at simply simply atomic mass 
or you can say relative atomic mass because the scientist have taken carbon c12 isotope as standard for measurement of atomic mass what is standard in physics only you uh, learn about the standard what is standard for measurement of length for measurement of length standard is meter standard is meter if your unit is small then you can use centimeter if your unit is if your measurement is large then you can use kilometer but your standard is meter okay uh, in measurement of weight that is mass your standard is gram your standard is gram if your amount is small then you can use milligram centigram if your mass is high value then you can use kilogram ton like this in this concept in this concept our standard is carbon our standard is carbon because we have taken the mass of carbon as standard we have taken the mass of carbon that is c12 because carbon have some isotopes but we have to take an only c12 means carbon atomic number 6 mass number is 12 we have to take only this carbon okay so this is atomic mass now all of you clear about atomic mass okay now learn about molecular mass what is molecular mass a molecule consists of two or more atoms okay now combine the mass of all atoms simply you get molecular mass like h2so4 what is h2so4 sulfuric acid h2so4 is sulfuric acid to calculate mass of sulfuric acid first remember mass of hydrogen sulfur and oxygen individually that is atomic mass mass of hydrogen is 1 into how many hydrogen there are two hydrogen so into 2 again plus what is mass of sulfur 32 mass of sulfur is 32 only one sulfur that's okay again what is mass of oxygen 16 how many oxygen there are four into four now calculate 2 plus 32 and plus 64 64 total value is 98 4 okay for mass for mass in early study scientist use kar rahe the amu that is atomic mass unit amu that is atomic mass unit but now a day recently it is replaced by u that is unified mass okay so whenever you <coughs> have to calculate mass you write just only u ye jo amu it is in previous before some years now you have to use u only okay any doubt in this molecular mass no now you know for element there is a symbol for compound there is a formula but formula is again one is molecular formula one is molecular formula and other is empirical formula
all of you know about molecular formula very easy what is molecular formula of glucose glucose you know formula is c6 h12 o6 but what is empirical formula empirical formula is the simplest simplest whole number ratio number ratio of all atoms simplest whole number ratio of all atoms now consider what is simplest whole number ratio in glucose or molecular formula of glucose c6 h12 o6 yes or no c6 h12 o6 what are the atoms carbon atoms are carbon hydrogen and oxygen what are the value of carbon hydrogen and oxygen number of carbon is 6 number of hydrogen is 12 number of oxygen is again 6 listen carefully this 6 12 and 6 we can find a simple whole number ratio means the simple whole number ratio it can be divided by 6 that is by 6 6 6 and you can get 1 2 1 this is called simplest whole number ratio simplest means uh, already we have learned in mathematics lcm hcf yes or no in math lcm hcf already you know simplest ratio in this chapter previous class standard 4 5 okay so number is 6 12 and 6 and simplest whole number ratio is 1 to 1 now we can write c6 h12 o6 h c1 H two O one or C one H two O one or C H two O. Okay. Now. C H two O, C six H twelve O six is the molecular formula of glucose, and and C H two O is the is the empirical formula. of glucose so what is the difference between molecular formula and empirical formula molecular formula is the actual formula and molecular formula represents the actual composition of atoms but empirical formula represents only simplest ratio molecular formula explain the total constituent total components of the atoms but empirical formula cannot say the actual value of atoms it say or it explain the simplest whole number ratio only okay then there are some terms like molarity and molality molarity and molality what is molarity and what is molality molarity and molarity molality are the terms or calculation process used to determine the concentration of ions in a solution molarity is noted as 
capital M. It is noted as capital M and it is noted as small m. These are two important mathematical calculations we will run in next class. Okay?